Neo with 2,500 insurance registrations for the week of April 8th through the 14th. And this is the specific model breakdown for Neo, which we'll return to in just a minute. I decided to pull up Lee Auto's data because I want to talk about the Mega. Although I don't consider Lee Auto a true competitor for Neo, and I don't think the Mega, this model, their first EV, really compares to anything in Neo's lineup. It is the first EV that Lee Auto came out with, and it is priced and selling in the high-end price range, that sort of premium luxury segment, which is the slowest to move over from ICE or gas sales to pure EVs. So I was curious how well it would do. 260 units for this particular week. Now, if we return now to Neo and their model breakdown, all of their models are pure EVs, and they're all being sold in the premium slash luxury, sort of the high-end you know, market, that piece of the, the market subsegment that's really slow to move over to pure EVs. The ES6 with 750 units, the ET5 and ET5 Touring with over 1,000 units, the EC6 with 300 units, the remaining four models for Neo with over 300 units. And also you gotta factor in things like the ET7 Refresh for 2024, that brand new model is coming soon. I've got a teaser if you'll stick around a little bit longer that I'll share with you on that. Uh, here's the bigger picture overview as I'm seeing it. And, and I mentioned it before, but I think this really kind of shows through. Mercedes-Benz almost 10,000 on the weekly side of things. Now this is for all sales or all insurance registration data. So not just EVs. Mercedes-Benz with almost 10,000, BMW with almost 9,000, Audi with almost 9,000. As far as I can tell, and this is speculative, this is a guesstimate only, it looks like there's only about 15% market penetration in the premium segment to EVs. And that tells me with roughly 85% still to become future sales for EVs, I just wonder how much of that NEO can take. The great news is NEO does not need to take a major piece of that. And further good news is companies like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi could partner with NEO in the future to come up with battery swappable models. And then they would still offer something unique, but also maintain their own brand. So I think there are a lot of things that can still shake out. But as I said before, if we're only looking at 15% EV penetration in that premium segment, then we've got a long way to go. And that's just the reality. So how about this? This is the teaser. This is Sean. Sean used to work for Neo. And this is his YouTube channel, The Telescope. This is his most recent video. It's the 2024 Neo ET7 review. Sean's phenomenal, a great content creator. Uh, I always enjoy his videos and, and not just the Neo ones either. But as you can see, he has a number of them. So I will link his channel and this video in the description. So just click down below if you want to check those out for yourselves. I'm falling further behind on comments, but maybe I'll even end up doing a comments response video, not sure. But in any event, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. See you all again very soon.